Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to walk through activity 12-7, running a memory diagnostic. This is from the MCTS guide to Microsoft Windows 7. In my edition of the book, this activity starts on page 573 near the bottom. I will be re uh, performing this in a virtual machine courtesy of VMware. So to begin, we want to have our computer booted up and be logged into that computer. And we're going to go to our Start Menu Control Panel, select System and Security. Then we want to select Administrative Tools at the bottom here. Locate Windows Memory Diagnostic right here and double click on it. Um, in this prompt, we want to tell it to restart now and check for problems. You can tell it to check next time you restart, then you just have to manually go restart your computer. So you might as well tell it to reboot for us. And then once it comes back up, we'll want to hit the F1 key to view the available options and we'll see that the pass count is defaulted to 2 so we can hit tab twice to come down to that option and we're going to change it to 1 so it'll only run once there we are, now that I have my mouse back, so we want to come down to here and change this to 1 and then we'll hit F10 to apply that change. And note that it does show us put my mouse back up here. The running test pass one of one. So if you have two or three or four, it'll show you which pass it's on for this full test. So it might be running test number two of, of four, or test number two of five, whatever the case may be. If you set the pass number to zero, it'll just continuously run. It'll be an infinite loop, basically. Um, it will continuously update um, completion. And it should update this if there are any issues or any problems discovered. It'll let you know that there's been a, a problem to that the system is detected. It might not give you all of the details here, but it should at least notify you, you know, problem detected or something like that. Um, you just want to go ahead and let this run through the full pass the first time through here. And the bottom there, it does note that the computer will automatically restart once the test is completed. And once we get logged in, we'll have the full results available to us. Um, if you do set this either intentionally or an accident to do zero, so it's in that endless loop, just continuously testing. Down here at the bottom, note that you can hit escape, the escape key, to terminate the tests. Alright, so we're about a quarter of the way completed. I'm going to go ahead and just pause the recording while this finishes, try to keep my video a little bit shorter. Once it gets up to where it's near completed, I'll resume recording. So I'll see you guys all in just a moment. Alright, so our test is about to complete. And once it does so, it should reboot automatically for us. And there we go. So in just a moment, we should be able to log in and go take a look at the results. So let's get logged in. Ignore that little prompt again. We 
I should have gotten a little message down here telling us that no memory issues were detected. I don't know if I just missed it or if it didn't display it. But generally, once it completes this reboot and you get logged back in, you get a little message down here stating that no memory errors were detected. Let me see if I can grab a copy of it here. I do have a little screenshot of one. You guys are going to be really impressed with this, I'm sure, using Microsoft Paint. So it should look like that when you get logged back in. That little bubble should appear right down here. Say, hey, no memory errors detected. In any case, I think that just about wraps up this activity. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them for me below. And I hope to see all of you in my next video.